Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today is the tip, it's another tip video for you. Now, as you know, I am absolutely hopeless at tying bows. They go upside down, they go the wrong way around. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I think my ribbons are maybe camera shy when I'm filming, but what I can do is tie a really nice square knot and that's generally what I tend to do. So I'm gonna show you how to do it because I know that's one thing that other people struggle with. So what I've got is a clear block just so I've got something to wrap it around. And I've got some ribbon, doesn't matter what kind of ribbon. Chop it off, you do kind of have to work out the length you need first. But I'm going for long length just to show you. So, and I did come up with this actually, somebody the other day said to me, um, I really like your ribbon bow video but I'm left handed. So if you're left handed, watch this in the mirror. So what you do is you, you, whichever way, some people put their ribbons one way or the other, but what you've got to work with is whichever ribbon is underneath, so you can see this is uppermost and this is underneath, as in it's under that ribbon there, under my left finger, the one that's underneath and facing down is the one that you are then going to move. So that's going to come up and wrap around, and I have moved my hands, so that's going to, that's what's forming the knot. It's the one underneath is doing the loop. And I will do this with my hands close together. And then you don't move that. You pull the other one. And that's how you get a square knot. Let me put this on autofocus. That's how you get a square knot with the knot on the top. So if I do that again, and I will do it very slightly faster and not take my hands away, you'll see what I'm doing. So... This one is going under. Okay, it's now going round to form the knot. It would do if I didn't have my fingernails in the way. But I'm pulling the other one to make the square knot. Hope that's useful for you. If you, I'll show you what happens if you pull the one that you've been working on. So, that's my under, Fennel agrees. That's going round to form the knot. But if I pulled that one, you get that. It's not so pretty. So it's, oh look, I've done it, I pulled it too tight. So, yes, Fennel. <laughs> so when you use it, so you, it's whichever one is under, because some people, I can't even do it. I don't even know that I could. Yes, fennel. Some people go with the other hand as the one round, but whichever one you put up, put under is the one that you take. You form the loop and knot with. But you pull the other one to make your square knot. That is... A a knot I can tie, I can't tie a bow to save my life. I really can't, I can tie a bow if it's not on something, but I can't tie a bow if it's round something. So a bow on its own, no problem. Round something, can't do it, this is probably nowhere near long enough. But um, yeah, I know that there's all the methods and the theories and everything in the world, but I can't do it. This is where I do a decent bow now. So I can't even get hold of that. Well, that's not bad, apart from the fact that I've pulled the tail, but yeah. Knots I can do, bows not so much. So I really hope that's that's useful for you. A nice quick tip. And obviously, yes, I've used a clear block, but it is what it is. <laughs> you can wrap one of those nice, pretty knots around any kind of project. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.